Hey everybody, Jeffrey Powers here, and welcome to another episode of the Unbox Me, where we're going to unbox this little item right here. It's called the Stream HD, where you can push your video from your laptop to your TV. And that's up next. <laughs> Jeffrey Power is here. You can't see me. I'm right here. But anyway, thanks a lot for watching this episode of Unbox Me over at Geekazine.com, the special media feed over at Geekazine.com where we do a lot of video and a lot of uh, systems here, and including Unbox Me, which is a great little extra to the special media feed. So today what we're going to do is we're going to, uh, we're going to be looking at this little item right here, Stream HD. I did get a copy in the mail today and we're ready to uh, push this out to you guys. Basically what this is is a system that runs through USB that pushes out your video from like a laptop or a desktop or something like that onto an HD TV. No wires involved so you can actually put all your devices close to you and uh, if you've got a DVD, th that's the biggest thing right now. Uh, if you've got a DVD player and Latin, I'd, I know I, I can't even tell you where my DVD player is. I lost a long time ago, so um, I have to, in order for me to do this, I have to hook up a computer uh, with the cable into the TV, which means I don't have a close remote, so then I put, turn on a iPhone application so I can use that as a remote, and sometimes it doesn't always work. Well, this way I can keep the laptop close by, and I can control it from there, and then it's going to wirelessly push to the TV, which is pretty cool. Now, like as you can see, it's there's gloss on it, so we haven't even opened. We haven't taken the cellophane off of that. That's what this. That's what we do with Unbox Me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by taking off the plastic right now. Also means that if I mess up in any way, shape, or form, we can't start over because I'm taking off the plastic right now. All right. So we've taken off the cellophane plastic stuff. Let's move that over there. There you go. It's the same box. We got the, looks like we got some side tabs here. So we'll just take the scissors and we will take off the side tab. That was pretty straightforward. Open up the box and slide out the item. And it's just a standard box. So we've got some tabs right here. Let's uh, let's bring it over here so you can see it. The actual box unveiling. What you see is what I see right now. Ooh, hey, it says stop. What? Read this important notice. Uh, okay. And then we got uh, got some FCC stuff, Stream HD manual right there, and then Warpia's Stream HD disc, uh, which we'll probably not use. So anyway, what we got here, we got a core, the, uh, looks like the USB dongle right here and another USB dongle. One of them would probably fit into this unit up here. And then of course, the unit itself, the dock, I guess you could call it. Let's take that out of the packaging here. So we got the dock, we got a DC voltage unit. We've got audio, we either through headphones or through a uh, digital audio part right there. We'll just zoom in on that really quick. And then there's the HDMI. And then, of course, the power, like I said. Now, over here, oh, okay, I see what's happening. You can either put the USB down there, or you slide that little puppy up, and then the USB can go up there. So pretty cool there. And then, once again, you have these two, these two dongles. You got the first dongle, which is just a flat dongle. And when I say dongle, I mean uh, USB key, whatever you want to call it. They used to be called dongles. Especially in security, uh, in security days, uh, you would have a dongle to make sure that if you were running a program, that it would that held the license and everything like that. So, so basically, I could take this item and shove the USB drive like that, so it goes like that. And same thing with this corner piece. One of them's going to go into the uh, laptop. The other one's going to go into the uh, into here to go into your TV through the HDMI port. So we'll take off the plastic there, and we'll take this out. We'll flip that down, and now we'll put the angled device 
dongle in there. And there we have an angled. I'm not exactly sure which one is a receiver, which one's a, uh, which one's the other. Uh, it doesn't really say here. It just says Ultra Speed from Warpia. And this one says Ultra Speed from Warpia. So in all reality, these could actually probably be interchangeable back and forth. But I don't know yet. So we'll find out. We'll just set that stuff right here. And we'll open up the next level here. All right, in the next level, looks like we have some sort of clip. Oh, it's a plug. Okay, it's the uh, it's part of the plug. So we'll pull this up, and here's the rest of the plug, as you can see. Take off the little piece of plastic. Sorry about that. And then uh, you probably just latch this puppy down like so. Clicks down, push, click up. I'm assuming that this is for uh, if you've uh, if you're in Europe. Of course, different plugs in Europe and Germany and so on and so forth. So instead of them giving you a completely different plug, they would give you just this little piece right here, in which you would then interchange it. So that looks pretty cool like that design there all right now we've got uh just uh, two ga cables here we got a us or i'm sorry hdmi cable <laughs> an hdmi cable um standard hdmi cable and this looks like the audio if you've got an audio cable on your and if you don't have an hd if you have a led tv or an lcd tv that doesn't have a digital audio in it then uh well, some older ones don't have it, but uh, newer ones, if you don't have one in, and you just bought this in the la last year and a half to two years, you might want to talk to your company about that because it's not right. I, I don't think because that's where everything is going is digital audio nowadays. So, so basically, here you go. This is what you got. You got the two dongles. You have the power, which then plugs into, of course, the power adapter right there. And then the digital audio right there, or headphones, if you just if you want to go through conventional audio. But then the HDMI cable, which is this one, will then plug into your flat panel TV. And of course the audio cable will do the same. And we'll take that out of the bag really quick. Brute force method of taking it out of the bag. There we go. So then you see the audio cable. We'll just put it in really quick. Uh, see how it goes. There we go. So then that plugs in like that. I think that's, yeah. Oh, I have to take the little rubber piece off. <laughs> I got the little rubber piece stuck in there. Smart me. Okay, well, I'm going to take this little rubber piece out. There we go. I can tell you how many times I've dealt with uh, digital optical audio. Excuse me. And... Uh, Plug that right in there. There we go. Now it works. So yeah, it plugs right in. This will, of course, will plug into your TV set, taking off the rubber piece, first of all. <laughs> There's, that's the piece that fell off, that little rubber piece right there. So anyway, that's it. That's, uh, that's the hookup here. What we'll do, what I'll do is I will then take it upstairs and I'll hook it up to my laptop and then I'll play a couple moves on it. So that's this part of the unboxing. We're going to get you the next part right now. Boom! All right, we're installing the Mac version. Of course, the CD that came with it was only for Windows. That's the CD right there. It was only for Windows. So now we're in installing the Mac version and hopefully getting that uh, up and running. We have to restart really quick. Well, of course, we got that running on Windows pretty well, and I just wanted to get this checked on Mac. As you can see, it noticed that it was gone. It's seeing no signal. But once once Mac comes back up, I would guess that it will actually see. It'll, uh, so it'll start saying, hey, try looking for a connection, and uh, eventually pairing. And just said pairing for connection over there. So it sees the dongle. And 
And the drivers are on, and it's now s detecting the signal. Let's uh, zoom in really quick. And it says no signal. I'm wondering if that's because I have to go into the system preferences. Check displays. Detect displays. No, it does not see it. So I'm wondering what's going on here. All right. All right, we're back, and drivers. it says it's ready for connection, so uh, it's loading up Mac right now, so we'll find out what's going on in a second here. It's detecting signal on the TV and says no signal. Oh, wait, and there it goes. 1360 by 768 signal, just like with Windows. And it's an extended desktop, so that means that I can move files over and use it as an extension. As you can see, my this is the star field where my regular screen has a the corduroy look to it, pinstripe look. So, got Definitely got two screens here. Let's see how the video looks. All right, so now we're back up, and I got a video up. This is uh, this is one I did of HP Discover. As you can see, it's pretty smooth and uh, and pretty good. As you can see, the uh, secondary monitor is set up over there. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this video over to the other side and show you something here. And there it is over there. As you can see, there is a bit of choppiness in this video now. It's like it's only going 15 frames a second. Now, it didn't do that on the Windows side. I'll have to double check on there. But we've got everything still there. We can see the, uh, the dongles right there, as you can see. And the video, um, of course, we're not. See there we go. You see, you just see the choppiness right there, as it goes back and forth. But if we bring it back over here, even the mouse is really, really choppy. But if we bring it back over here. You can see it's not as choppy. So interesting between the two. We'll get this in Windows. We'll show you win the Windows side and we will go from there. One. All right, here we are. We have the uh, dongle installed, as you can see, right here on my MacBook Pro. And I've got it loaded up. I tried it in Windows. I tried it in Mac. So far, so good. But uh, we have the corner dongle right there. Show that closer. And of course, if that goes all the way to there, there's my TV, and there is the other part of the dongle right there in the center of the screen. As you can see, I've got geekazine.com up. I'm going to play a video here, just the latest video from the Ford thing with a little commercial. Of course, you can see that happen. Once I get that in focus. Interesting thing, watch this. I take this dongle, let's see if I can do this. And if I I can block the signal if I wrap my hand around it. Do that again, watch this. So it's not perfect, but it's not bad. The audio is coming straight from there. I'll do it again. There's me with the hand around the whole dongle. And it actually gets really, really warm. And I think I just messed things up to the point where it lost the signal. Yes, it lost the signal. <laughs> so, 
Um, and uh, so basically when, uh, when you connect it up, you see the ready for connection part. And now it's going to find it again. I'm hearing the uh, system go ding, 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 ding. And of course, since everything moved over to the other screen, which I've set this up for extended screen, I'll show you the dongle really quick. So it's right there. And of course, I use the flat one uh, right there. And then the angled one is up here at the, uh, on the other side. So that's it for the unboxing. Thanks a lot for watching. Thanks a lot for listening. My name is Jeffrey Powers. You can find me over at www.geekazine.com. Let's see if I can flip this over without it being too big. <laughs> How you doing? www.geekazine.com. Um, if you got any questions, feel free to uh, Twitter me over at Geekazine. You can also uh, contact me at uh, geekazine.com. Go to the contact page and find out a lot more. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. Bo unbox me. If you have anything that you would like to see unboxed, let me know. If you've got a product that you want me to unbox, feel free to email me at geekazine at gmail.com, and I will, uh, I'll go through the same thing. So, Thanks a lot for watching, and thanks a lot for listening, and you guys will see you next time. Take care.